technology. I'm not saying that I'm the only one who uses it, but it is definitely, definitely very helpful. Nice. Do you think intuition also comes into play? You know, uh, do you have that designer's intuition or team uses intuition like up to some percent that, okay, what if I was this person? How would I use it? Uh, do you get into play it as well? Yeah, I think um, that's uh, that's a really, really great question because when I came into the field of design at first, I was huge about uh, intuition and uh, you know designers way of doing things as some people call it or um, you know designers intuition like you said it so let's let's talk about intuition for a second uh, when we think about intuition we think that it is something that's coming inherently because of the way we are Sure, there's some personality to that. But one of my professors in early days, uh, I had this discussion uh, with him. So there are two there are two uh, types of designers in the world. Um, one who believe that design intuition is what drives them. Uh, one who believe that design process can be taught to anybody and they can be a designer. Um, mm -hmm. I would like to slot in between them. And that was my, I think that was the outcome of my discussion with my professor. His name is Anija Matthew. He is the Dean of Institute of Design in Chicago. Um, and he talks about informed intuition. Um, and what that is that as you live your life, as you learn uh, different things in your everyday life, you, you develop this intuition based on all the things that you have seen, that you have read, that you have experienced. And this informed intuition is going to shape um, the things that you are solving for, the things that you are designing.